Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we'll explore a fascinating Kaggle project where we predict flight prices using machine learning. Let's take a look at the Kaggle dataset. Dataset contains information about flight booking options from the website Easme Trip for flight travel between India's top six metro cities. There are 300,261 data points and 11 features in the clean dataset. In this project, we are going to perform data analysis and price prediction. Let's get to coding. We start by importing essential libraries for our data science project focused on predicting flight prices. These include pandas for data manipulation, scikit-learn for machine learning tasks such as data splitting, train test split, feature scaling, standard scaler, and regression modeling, random forest regressor. Additionally, we import our two score from scikit-learn to evaluate model performance. For data visualization, we import Seaborn, SNS, and Matplotlib, PLT, to create insightful plots like histograms and heat maps. Following library imports, we utilize os.walk slash kaggle slash input to traverse the directory and locate key datasets. This step ensures that we can seamlessly load and analyze the datasets necessary for our project, setting the stage for data preprocessing, exploratory analysis, and ultimately, building a predictive model for flight prices. Then we use pandas to read the CSV file named clean dataset located in the directory. This dataset is loaded into a data frame for further analysis. To gain an initial understanding of the data structure and contents, we call the head method on DF, which displays the first few rows. In this code snippet, we first check if the data frame contains a column named unnamed zero. If it does, we proceed to drop this column using the drop method. This step ensures that any extraneous or unnamed index columns are removed from the dataset. Following the column drop operation, we then use the isNull.sum method on df to count and display the number of null values in each column. The output shows that there are no null values present across the dataset's columns, indicating that the dataset is clean and ready for further analysis or modeling tasks. In these sections, we perform initial checks on the data frame, df. Firstly, we verify for any duplicate rows using df.duplicated. Dot sum, which returns a count of duplicate rows in the dataset. In this case, the result is zero, indicating that there are no duplicate rows present in the dataset. Next, we use df.info to get more detailed information about the data frame. This includes the data types of each column, object for categorical variables and float 64 slash int 64 for numerical variables, the number of non-null values in each column, 300,153 entries for all columns, confirming no missing values, and the memory usage of the data frame, 25.2 plus MB. These steps ensure that the dataset is clean, without duplicates and missing values, providing a solid foundation for subsequent data analysis and machine learning tasks. In this plot, each box represents the interquartile range, IQR, of prices for a specific airline with the horizontal line inside the box indicating the median price. The whiskers extend to show the range of the data, excluding outliers, shown as points beyond the whiskers. This visualization helps in understanding the pricing dynamics and potential differences among airlines in the dataset. This visualization helps in understanding how flight prices differ based on both the source and destination cities. The hue encoding allows for a clear comparison between different routes, highlighting potential pricing patterns influenced by travel demand and other factors specific to each city pair. This visualization helps in understanding how flight prices fluctuate throughout the day based on departure and arrival times. The hue encoding enables us to compare price distributions across different combinations of departure and arrival times revealing potential pricing trends influenced by travel preferences and time-of-day demand variations. This visualization helps in understanding how flight prices are influenced by the number of stops and the class of travel. The hue encoding allows for a clear comparison between economy and business class prices across different stop categories, 
providing insights into pricing strategies related to travel convenience and cost preferences. The output from this code displays the original count of flights associated with each airline. Following this, we applied custom encoding to convert these categorical airline names into numerical values using the map function. This transformation replaces the airline names with corresponding numerical codes, 0 through 5, making the data suitable for machine learning algorithms that require numerical inputs. The results from this code revealed the counts of flights departing from each city. To prepare this categorical data for machine learning models, we applied custom encoding using the Source City Mapping Dictionary. This transformation replaced city names with numerical codes, 0 through 5, facilitating the integration of Source City information into predictive algorithms. We applied same distribution and encoding methods to other object type columns to make sure features are suitable for the model. The basic statistical summary of the dataset provides insights into the numerical features of flight data after pre-processing and encoding. Here are the key statistics for each numerical column. These statistics provide a comprehensive overview of the dataset, aiding in understanding the central tendency, spread, and distribution of the flight data attributes. Additionally, we have dropped the flight column in order to reduce overfitting and errors. The following code snippet generates a heat map to visualize the correlations between numerical features in the data frame. This visualization is useful for understanding the relationships between different numeric variables in the data set. Correlation values close to 1 indicate a strong positive relationship, values close to minus 1 indicate a strong negative relationship, and values close to 0 indicate no linear relationship between the variables. The heat map provides a quick and intuitive way to identify which features may be more closely related to each other, which can guide feature selection or pre-processing decisions for machine learning models. Next, the provided code generates a histogram to visualize the distribution of flight prices stored in the data frame DF price. Using Seaborn's histplot function, the code sets bins equals 50 to divide the price range into 50 intervals and includes a kernel density estimate, kd equals true, to smooth the histogram. The resulting plot illustrates how flight prices are distributed across the dataset, with the x-axis representing different price ranges and the y-axis showing the frequency of prices falling within each range. The histogram's shape and the density estimate provide insights into the typical price points and the variability of flight costs in the dataset. This visualization is crucial for understanding the distribution pattern and range of prices, which can be useful for pricing strategies, market analysis, and identifying outliers or anomalies in flight pricing data. In the code snippet provided, the dataset DF is divided into features, X, and the target variable, Y. The features are obtained by dropping the price column from DF, and Y is assigned the price column itself. Next, the dataset is split into training and testing sets using train test split from sklearn.model selection. Here, test size equals 0.2 indicates that 20% of the data will be used for testing, while the remaining 80% will be used for training the model. The random state equals 42 ensures reproducibility of the split. Following the split, the features X train and X test are standardized using standard scalar from sklearn.preprocessing. Standardization transforms the data such that its distribution has a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one, which can help improve the performance of certain machine learning algorithms that are sensitive to the scale of input features. Fit transform is used on X-Train to fit the scalar on the training data and then transform it, while transform is used on X-Test to apply the same transformation based on the parameters learned from X-Train. This ensures that both the training and test sets are standardized based on the same distribution of data. In the code snippet provided, a random forest regression model is being constructed. Here's a breakdown. Random forest regressor is initialized with n estimators equals 100 and random state equals 42. n estimators equals 100 specifies the number of trees in the forest which is a hyperparameter that can be tuned based on the dataset and performance requirements. 
random state equals 42 ensures reproducibility of the results, as it sets a seed for random number generation. The model is trained using the training data, X-train and Y-train, with the FIT method. This step involves constructing a forest of trees, in this case, 100 trees, and fitting them to the training data, where each tree is trained on a bootstrap sample of the data, sampling with replacement. Random forests are effective for regression tasks like predicting flight prices because they can handle complex relationships and interactions between features, handle large data sets, and are less prone to overfitting compared to individual decision trees. The random forest regressor in this code will learn patterns from the training data to predict flight prices based on the features provided in X-Train. In this evaluation phase of the random forest regression model, the PREDICT method is used to generate predictions, Y-PRED, for flight prices using the test dataset, X-TEST. The coefficient of determination, or R2-score, is computed using R2-score, Y-TEST, Y-PRED. This metric assesses how well the regression predictions approximate the real data points. An R2 score of 0.9849 indicates that the model explains approximately 98.5% of the variance in the test data, suggesting a high degree of accuracy in predicting flight prices based on the selected features. This code snippet visualizes the top 10 features that most influence flight prices using a random forest regression model. It computes feature importances and plots them as horizontal bars, where each bar's length represents a feature's relative importance in predicting flight prices. The plot provides insights into critical factors like airline, departure time, and class that significantly impact flight costs according to the model's analysis. This code generates a scatter plot comparing the actual flight prices, Y-test, against the predicted prices, Y-pred, from the random forest regression model. Each point on the plot represents a single observation, where the x-axis corresponds to the actual price and the y-axis to the predicted price. The red line, plt, dot plot, min, y-test, max, y-test, min, y-test, max, y-test, color equals red, indicates the line of perfect prediction, y equals x, where points along this line represent perfect predictions. The scatter plot with the red line helps visualize how closely the model's predictions align with the actual prices, providing an intuitive assessment of the model's performance. Building a prediction system The predict flight price function takes categorical inputs and numerical features, maps them to encoded values, scales them, and predicts flight prices using a trained machine learning model. It handles input validation and returns the predicted price based on the input features. This code snippet demonstrates how the predict flight price function is applied to make a specific prediction. The function internally encodes these categorical inputs into numeric values using predefined mappings. It scales the numeric features, duration and days left, using the previously fitted scalar. It then predicts the flight price using a pre-trained random forest regressor model. The predicted flight price is stored in the variable predicted price. The result is printed out using print, displaying the predicted price for the specified flight scenario. This process encapsulates the functionality of predicting flight prices based on given travel parameters, leveraging machine learning models and pre-processing techniques. We've walked through the entire process, from data pre-processing to building a predictive model, and even demonstrated how to make individual price predictions. We hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting content on data science and machine learning. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. Happy coding, and see you in the next video!